According to the Ministry of Disaster Preparedness and Refugees, the number of Ugandans in need of food relief has grown from 1.3 million to over 3 million people. During the 69th State of Nation platform by ACODI, which brought together government officials, activists and academias to discuss about ways of addressing food security in the country. The former Minister of Ethics and Integrity, Miriam Matembe, furiously attacked government officials for being selfish, corrupt and failure to come up with tangible urgent ways of saving lives of starving Ugandans. It is now 2017. What exactly did you do when you found the problem? Because let me tell you, you, you bore us, telling us, we shall, me when I used to be a minister, and you had to be my officer, when you had an assignment, you come and tell me, I have done it, I'm doing it. This business of I am going, when, shall, when will you reach where you are going in order to start doing what you are doing? State Minister of Relief, Disaster Preparedness and Refugees, Musa Echeru, however told Matembe to be appreciative of the efforts of government, wondering former government workers like Amatembe think that every government official is corrupt. Of course you can get a few leaders who are temperamental like Honorable Miriam Matembe. She has very good points but sometimes the method of delivering her points and then also there is a problem sometimes with some of our colleagues not appreciating any good thing that government has done and also believing that since they left the government only corrupt people have come in. Echeru noted that at the moment government is set to distribute emergency food relief to parts of the country had heat. We are also working with agriculture to make sure that seeds and planting materials are delivered to the population. A lot of interventions are taking place. We of course don't so much climb on anti-health every day to shout about our achievements because particularly when we are addressing issues concerning the lives of the population, we don't need to really do so much publicity about it. The Director of Crop Resources in the Ministry of Agriculture, Okaso Polot, noted that government is to commit 54 billion shillings towards drought-resistant crops. And the crops which we are focusing on are maize, we are focusing on beans, we are focusing on rehabilitating banana plantations in those areas which were affected by drought. At the same meeting, officials from the meteorological department gave their weather predictions and how they might affect farmers. The biggest concern or question should be are the rains going to be to, 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 to withdraw uh, the usual time? Because if we expect, we always expect late May, early, early June. But we are going to continue giving you the updates every after one month so that we, we really monitor this. The current trains have so far raised hopes of many farmers across the country. Report filed by Jariat Namuaya for Urban Television. This is quite good.